Discover the pristine beauty of Idaho through its 10 best national and state parks. From the geothermal wonders of Yellowstone National Park to the lunar-like landscape of Craters of the Moon, Idaho's parks offer diverse experiences. Explore the rugged canyons of Hell's Canyon and the serene lakes of Sawtooth State Park, creating unforgettable outdoor adventures for nature enthusiasts. The portion of Yellowstone National Park that extends into Idaho is a relatively small area located in the southwestern corner of the park. Within this part of Yellowstone, visitors can find several interesting features. Island Park, this area, located in the Idaho portion of Yellowstone, is characterized by lush forests, meandering rivers, and abundant wildlife. Island Park offers opportunities for fishing, camping, and observing nature in a pristine wilderness setting. Henry's Lake, positioned just outside the western boundary of Yellowstone in Idaho, Henry's Lake is a picturesque alpine lake known for its excellent fishing. Anglers frequent the lake to catch trout, making it a popular destination for fishing enthusiasts. Rivers and Hot Springs, the Idaho section of Yellowstone is crisscrossed by rivers and streams, providing habitats for various wildlife species. Additionally, there are smaller geothermal features such as hot springs and thermal vents, although on a smaller scale compared to the larger geothermal areas found in other parts of the park. Lesser known geothermal features, while not as famous as those in the Wyoming and Montana sections, the Idaho portion of Yellowstone does have its share of lesser known geothermal features, including hot springs and geysers. These smaller thermal attractions are scattered throughout the area and offer a glimpse into the park's geothermal activity. Wildlife viewing, similar to other parts of Yellowstone, the Idaho section is home to a variety of wildlife, including elk, bison, and birds. Wildlife enthusiasts can enjoy observing these animals in their natural Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve, located in south-central Idaho, is a striking and surreal landscape that resembles a lunar surface. Covering an area of about 1,117 square miles 2,893 square kilometers, this unique national monument showcases a vast expanse of ancient lava flows, volcanic craters, cinder cones, and other geologically significant formations. Lava Fields, the monument is renowned for its extensive lava fields, which were formed by a series of volcanic eruptions between 15,000 and 2,000 years ago. The hardened lava flows stretch for miles, creating a rugged, blackened terrain that gives the area an otherworldly appearance. Cinder Cones, scattered throughout the monument are numerous cinder cones, formed when molten lava was ejected into the air and solidified into cone-shaped mounds. These cones are a testament to the area's volcanic past and are fascinating to explore. Spatter Cones, Craters of the Moon is home to unique spatter cones, formed by blobs of lava that were thrown into the air and then cooled and solidified, creating cone-shaped structures with irregular surfaces. Lava Tubes, one of the park's highlights is its extensive network of lava tubes. These underground tunnels were created when the outer layer of a lava flow solidified while the molten lava inside continued to flow, eventually leaving behind hollow tubes. Visitors can explore some of these lava tubes, experiencing the eerie darkness and unique rock formations. Plant and Animal Life Despite the harsh volcanic environment, Craters of the Moon supports a surprising variety of plant and animal life adapted to the challenging conditions. Unique plant species, including lichens and hardy shrubs, thrive in the rocky terrain. Visitors might also spot animals like mule deer, coyotes, and various bird species. Visitor Center and Trails The park features a visitor center where visitors can learn about the volcanic activity and geology of the region. There are also well-maintained hiking trails that lead visitors through the different volcanic features, providing informative displays along the way. Stargazing, due to its remote location and minimal light pollution, Craters of the Moon National Monument is an excellent spot for stargazing. On clear nights, 
the dark skies offer a spectacular view of stars, planets, and celestial phenomena. Overall, Craters of the Moon National Monument in Idaho offers a unique and captivating experience, allowing visitors to explore the remnants of ancient volcanic activity and appreciate the incredible forces of nature that shape this extraordinary landscape. Nestled in the heart of central Idaho, the Sawtooth National Recreation Area SNRA, is a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts, offering a pristine wilderness experience amid the majestic Sawtooth Mountains. Encompassing over 730,000 acres of rugged mountains, alpine lakes, and lush forests, this recreation area is a haven for nature lovers, hikers, anglers, and photographers. Breathtaking Scenery the SNRA is renowned for its stunning natural beauty. Towering granite peaks, including the iconic Sawtooths, dominate the skyline, creating a dramatic backdrop for the crystal clear alpine lakes and meandering rivers below. Alpine lakes, one of the highlights of SNRA is its numerous alpine lakes, such as Redfish Lake, Stanley Lake, and Alturas Lake. These pristine bodies of water offer excellent opportunities for fishing, kayaking, canoeing, and picnicking. The reflective waters against the backdrop of the rugged mountains create picture-perfect scenes. Hiking and backpacking, the area boasts an extensive network of hiking trails, ranging from easy strolls to challenging backcountry routes. Enthusiasts can explore trails like the Sawtooth Lake Trail, which takes hikers through lush forests and wildflower-filled meadows to the breathtaking Sawtooth Lake, offering panoramic views. Wildlife viewing, the SNRA is home to diverse wildlife, including elk, deer, moose, and a variety of bird species. Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument, located in south-central Idaho, is a paleontological treasure trove preserving the history of life in the area over the past several million years. Encompassing approximately 4,350 acres along the Snake River, this national monument is renowned for its exceptional fossils and unique insights into ancient ecosystems. Here's what makes Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument a remarkable destination. Fossil Discoveries, the monument is home to a vast array of fossils, including the remains of ancient horses, camels, mastodons, and other mammals, as well as plants, birds, and insects. These fossils date back to the late Pliocene epoch, providing valuable insights into the prehistoric life of North America. Hagerman Horse One of the most significant discoveries at the monument is the Hagerman Horse, Equisimplicidens, an extinct species that is considered the earliest known true horse in North America. Fossils of these horses have been found in abundance, shedding light on the evolutionary history of these magnificent animals. Interpretive centers, the monument features visitor centers, such as the Hagerman Fossil Beds Visitor Center, where visitors can learn about the geology, paleontology, and ecology of the area. Interactive exhibits, fossil displays, and educational programs provide an immersive experience for visitors of all ages. Guided tours, knowledgeable park rangers offer guided tours, allowing visitors to explore the fossil-rich areas, learn about the excavation process, and gain a deeper understanding of the significance of the fossils found within the monument. Scenic Landscapes Apart from its paleontological treasures, the monument also boasts scenic landscapes along the Snake River. Visitors can enjoy hiking, birdwatching, and picnicking while taking in the serene beauty of the surrounding natural environment. Paleontological Research Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument serves as a hub for scientific research, attracting paleontologists and researchers from around the world. Ongoing excavations and studies continue to enhance our understanding of ancient life and ecosystems in the region. Junior Ranger Program The monument offers educational programs, including the Junior Ranger Program, designed to engage young visitors in learning about fossils, paleontology, and natural history. 
participants can earn Junior Ranger badges by completing interactive activities and exploring the park. In summary, Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument provides a fascinating glimpse into the ancient world, showcasing the diverse and unique life forms that once roamed the region. With its educational opportunities, scenic landscapes, and unparalleled fossil discoveries, it offers a one-of-a-kind experience for visitors interested in the Earth's prehistoric past. Farragut State Park, situated in the northern panhandle of Idaho, is a sprawling natural oasis that offers a wide range of recreational activities and scenic beauty. Covering over 4,000 acres, the park is located on the southern tip of Lake Pend Oreille, Idaho's largest lake. Here's what makes Farragut State Park a popular destination. Natural beauty, the park is surrounded by lush forests, pristine lakeshore, and picturesque mountain views. Towering pine trees provide ample shade, creating a serene atmosphere that allows visitors to connect with nature. Lake Pend Oreille, Farragut State Park boasts extensive shoreline along Lake Pend Oreille, offering opportunities for swimming, boating, fishing, and water sports. The lake's clear waters make it a popular spot for anglers looking to catch a variety of fish species. Hiking and Trails the park features an extensive network of hiking and biking trails that wind through the forested hills. These trails cater to various skill levels, allowing visitors to explore the natural beauty of the park on foot or by bike. Camping, Farragut State Park offers multiple campgrounds, including RV sites and tent camping areas. The campgrounds are well maintained and provide facilities such as picnic tables, fire rings, and restrooms. Camping in the park allows visitors to experience the beauty of the outdoors while being surrounded by the sounds of nature. Wildlife viewing, the park is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including deer, elk, moose, and various bird species. Birdwatchers will find plenty of opportunities to observe both migratory and resident birds in their natural habitat. Education and interpretive programs, Farragut State Park offers educational programs and interpretive events throughout the year. Hell's Canyon National Recreation Area, located in western Idaho along the border with Oregon, is a rugged and diverse wilderness area known for its dramatic landscapes, deep canyons, and outdoor recreational opportunities. Here's what makes Hell's Canyon NRA a remarkable destination. Spectacular Canyon, Hell's Canyon is the deepest river gorge in North America, carved by the Snake River through a mix of rugged mountains, high plateaus, and deep canyons. The towering cliffs, reaching heights of over 7,900 feet, create a breathtaking backdrop for visitors. Outdoor Recreation, the recreation area offers a plethora of outdoor activities, including hiking, camping, fishing, boating, and wildlife viewing. The diverse terrain provides opportunities for both leisurely strolls and challenging hikes, catering to visitors of all skill levels. Whitewater rafting, the Snake River in Hell's Canyon is renowned for its thrilling whitewater rapids. Adventurous visitors can embark on guided rafting trips, navigating the turbulent waters while enjoying the scenic beauty of the canyon. Wildlife, Hell's Canyon is home to a variety of wildlife, including bighorn sheep, black bears, elk, and numerous bird species. Wildlife enthusiasts can spot these animals in their natural habitats, especially along the riverbanks and in the higher elevations of the canyon. Scenic drives, scenic byways, such as the Hell's Canyon Scenic Byway, offer breathtaking Haven State Park, located in northern Idaho, is the oldest state park in the Pacific Northwest and a true gem for outdoor enthusiasts. Situated along the shores of Lake Coeur d'Alene, this park offers a wide array of recreational activities and natural beauty, making it a popular destination for visitors seeking outdoor adventures. 
Lake Coeur d'Alene, Haven State Park is bordered by the scenic Lake Coeur d'Alene, one of the largest lakes in the region. The lake provides opportunities for swimming, boating, kayaking, and fishing. Anglers can find a variety of fish species, making it a paradise for fishing enthusiasts. Water activities, with its expansive waterfront, Haven State Park is ideal for water activities. Visitors can rent boats, canoes, and kayaks, exploring the lake and its picturesque coves. The calm waters are perfect for paddling, and there are designated swimming areas for families to enjoy. Scenic Trails, the park features several hiking and biking trails that wind through diverse landscapes, including dense forests, marshlands, and lakeside paths. Trails like the Plummer Creek Loop and the Indian Cliffs Trail provide stunning views of the lake and opportunities to observe local wildlife. Wildlife Viewing, Haven State Park is home to a variety of wildlife, including deer, moose, eagles, and waterfowl. Birdwatchers will appreciate the diverse avian species that inhabit the park's wetlands and woodlands, making it an excellent spot for observing nature. Campgrounds and Picnic Areas The park offers well-maintained campgrounds equipped with facilities for both tent and RV camping. Additionally, there are designated picnic areas with tables and barbecue grills, providing a perfect setting for outdoor meals and gatherings with family and friends. Haven Education and Nature Center, the park features an educational center that provides visitors with information about the park's natural history and ecosystems. Interactive exhibits and educational programs offer insights into the area's flora, fauna, and conservation efforts. Fishing and Hunting, Lake Coeur d'Alene is a popular spot for fishing, and the park provides boat ramps and fishing docks for anglers. Additionally, Haven State Park allows hunting in designated areas during specific seasons, attracting hunters seeking game in the surrounding wilderness. Seasonal Events The park hosts various events and activities throughout the year, including nature walks, interpretive programs, and outdoor workshops. These events enhance visitors' experiences and provide opportunities to learn more about the park's natural environment. Haven State Park offers a delightful blend of water-based activities, hiking trails, and opportunities to connect with nature. Its serene ambience, coupled with a wide range of recreational options, makes it a must-visit destination for nature lovers and outdoor adventurers alike. Shoshone Falls Park often referred to as the Niagara of the West, is a magnificent natural wonder located on the Snake River in Twin Falls, Idaho. This stunning park showcases the power and beauty of Shoshone Falls, one of the largest natural waterfalls in the United States outside of the Niagara Falls. Here's what makes Shoshone Falls Park a captivating destination. The waterfalls, Shoshone Falls is the centerpiece of the park, cascading over a 212-foot tall and 1,000-foot wide horseshoe-shaped rim. During the spring and early summer, when the snow melt swells the Snake River, the falls are at their most impressive, creating a thunderous roar and a mesmerizing display of water plummeting into the canyon below. Scenic Views The park offers several viewpoints and overlooks that provide breathtaking panoramic views of Shoshone Falls and the surrounding Snake River Canyon. Visitors can marvel at the falls from various angles, capturing stunning photographs of the natural spectacle. Recreational Activities Shoshone Falls Park provides picnic areas and well-maintained green spaces, making it an excellent spot for family gatherings, picnics, and relaxation. The park also features walking paths and hiking trails along the canyon rim, allowing visitors to explore the area and Nez Perce National Historical Park, spread across four states including Idaho, Oregon, Washington, and Montana, commemorates the rich heritage and culture of the Nez Perce tribe. This historical park preserves significant sites related to the Nez Perce War of 1877, which played a pivotal role in the tribe's history. Visitors to the park can explore a series of sites, including battlefields, tribal villages, and interpretive centers, 
each offering unique insights into the Nez Perce people's way of life and their interactions with early European settlers. The park emphasizes the tribe's enduring traditions, storytelling, and deep connection to the land. The park's visitor centers, such as the Spalding Visitor Center in Idaho, provide immersive exhibits, artifacts, and educational programs that shed light on Nez Perce history, culture, and spiritual beliefs. Guided tours and ranger-led activities offer visitors a chance to engage with the Nez Perce heritage firsthand, fostering a deep understanding of the tribe's legacy. Nez Perce National Historical Park Nestled in the vast expanse of southern Idaho, Bruno Dunes State Park We made it down the dunes, now we're hiking right along the, the lake. Desert landscape. Encompassing over 4,800 acres, this unique park is home so here's to where the real the fun begins. sand dunes in North America. We hike up that dune. Visitors a blend of outdoor recreation, Straight up this way. Scientific exploration, Which seems and awful. Inspiring natural wonders. And it might be, I don't know. From the but right now we're just looking forward to getting out. Majestically across the horizon to the Serene Lakes it and the quarter of the way up. Observatory under the night sky. Something like that. Bruno Dunes State Park is a destination that so I'm doing is I'm following this line up. And, and it cuts over here. At the heart of Bruno Dunes State over there. Park lies its most striking feature. The magnificent uh, sand dunes that rise dramatically from may the not seem like they help, the <laughs> but for me, I, at least they help. At a, height of a couple days old, because the wind is already is an iconic presence blown over some the of the divot. Of the arid but they still landscape. work, for the most part. These colossal dunes, formed over thousands of years by the relentless forces of wind and water, <laughs> create a surreal and no. picturesque scene, making the park a haven for sandboarding and sand sledding enthusiasts. Visitors can experience the thrill of sliding down the steep slopes, leaving behind a trail of laughter and sand, or simply marvel at the undulating contours of the dunes, sculpted by the whims of nature. Now it's getting much, much steeper. Beyond its daytime allure, and every Bruno step Dunes I take, State Park reveals an entirely or not, different world after sunset. The just sliding halfway Park's back. Observatory, a hub for astronomy enthusiasts and stargazers. With its exceptionally dark skies and minimal light pollution, the park offers unparalleled opportunities for exploring the cosmos. The observatory, equipped with high-powered telescopes, provides we a mesmerizing journey through the universe. Visitors can well over witness half the at this point. craters in astonishing detail, observe distant Corey's galaxies, already made it. and marvel at the vibrant hues of nebulae. Congratulations! The park hosts regular Actually, it's astronomy not thick. programs and star it's just parties. Deep allowing both novice and Deep seasoned astronomers to sand. delve into the mysteries of the night sky. Under the expert guidance of astronomers, visitors can you explore this. constellations, planets, and celestial phenomena, if bugs, fostering if a little beetles can make it, for the vastness of the universe. Those little tracks are beetle tracks. Amid the desert terrain, and so can we. Bruno Dune State Park surprises Check out that visitors path I made. with the presence of several pristine lakes, <sighs> the largest of which is the Snake River Lake. These lakes, we made it. Surrounded by sandy shores and native vegetation. Wow. Provide a peaceful oasis in the midst of the arid environment. This part for me the lakes offer is a not exactly a graceful experience. I just wanted to make it up so bad. And bird watching. <sighs> Families can that was basically in the crawling on, my hands on the and sandy knees. beaches, you can enjoying the soothing sounds of lapping water and the gentle rustle of leaves in the breeze. Courtney just told me bird we climbed 436 in the feet. Avian Total life that frequents height, the so. lake shores. This dune Ducks, probably herons, less than and other waterfowl gracefully skim Some of our Utah hikes, we hiked 1,100 feet in a single hike. Creating a harmonious symphony of But it nature. wasn't nearly this Although deep, and it was not. Although the environment sad. may seem harsh, it is teeming with life adapted to the arid conditions. Explorers hey. and naturalists can encounter a fascinating array of flora and fauna, each uniquely suited to the desert ecosystem. I don't think I'd ever say this, desert but wildflowers. With their Man, walking that peak almost looks intimidating. Adding splashes of color and we've done Angel's Landing and it was no sweat. Reptiles, and now look at this. Sand on both sides. Navigate the sun and it's like, wow, that's, while uh, small mammals, that's something. Including pocket gophers and kangaroo rats, burrow beneath the surface. The park is also home to a diverse avian population. Raptors, such as hawks and eagles, we think this is the trail. Overhead. Demonstrating their mastery of the skies, while ground-dwelling birds forage among the shrubs and grasses. The delicate balance of life in this desert ecosystem showcases nature's resilience and adaptation, inviting I think the trail goes up, follows the ridge the all the way over. World. 
but if we do that, it's going to take forever. Into the desert environment. And we Bruno still have to get back to the campground, so we don't know. We're investigating maybe just the coming across this area. Of the We've already made the highest peak, the park provides so we don't RV sites necessarily and need to do this just to say that we campers to experience because we've the already hiked of the desert night and awaken to the soft All right, so we've made an executive decision. So as you can see, if we were to stick to the ridge line, star-studded canopy, families and still a heck of a hike that's going to take us a while to lasting memories and then get back. We weren't to spend any long quite that long. So the other option was to hug a lake, but that's where it gets buggy. So we're going to try to see if we can get down there a little bit, walk a little bit faster, but stay away from the boats. It is also an educational hub that fosters an understanding of the park's unique ecology and geology. Sand dune right there. The park's visitor center serves as a gateway to knowledge, featuring interactive exhibits, informative displays, and engaging educational programs. And we're almost back at the campsite. into the geological processes that shape the dunes, explore the intricate relationships between easily one of the least enjoyable. And learn about the conservation efforts aimed at preserving this delicate